I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Enough, Moran! I am the genetic destiny of the Asari, but they are not ready to reveal this, so I must die. You are a disease to be purged, nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to yet another episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition on Insanity Difficulty right here on Missile Nerd Online. That's me, that's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another Mass Effect 2 video. The last episode was crazy. We decided to save Samara and kill Morinth because, because of course, I don't know why you would save, I have no idea why you would choose Morinth over Samara, but we were able to unlock both of their, their bonus powers, including Dominate and Heavy Reeve, which we now have on our level 22 Commander Corey Shepard Vanguard, who is looking just so, dang good. Uh, in this episode, my friends, we are going to go ahead and tackle Garrus's loyalty mission, Garrus Eye for an Eye. And the reason for that is because I want to make sure that I can secure a romance option for a certain trophy. That's not to say that Commander Corey Shepard is going to follow through on that romance, but I just want to be able to get that trophy. And I recommend that you set it up and that you're ready to go so that you have the option of also getting that trophy in one playthrough and not having to do multiple. My heart belongs to Liara. I'm not going to betray her i'm not going to betray her trust well i am but only for a little bit and then i'm going to reload and not betray her trust. you get the point so anyways uh that's what we're going to be doing in this episode also huge shout out to those of you watching the premieres on youtube i sincerely appreciate you and an even bigger shout out to those of you supporting the channel on patreon.com slash missile online uh, without you guys, I wouldn't be here. So thank you so much. And a huge shout out to our newest patrons, Tanya and Sean Caster. So eye for an eye, we need to talk to Garrus, who just so happens to be right behind us. Let's go ahead and see what he needs help with. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel, name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sedonis was seen with him. Hmm. If you remember, back on Omega, we learned about Archangel and uh, how Garrus was leading this this mercenary band against these other mercenary bands, and Sedonis was the one who betrayed them all. What happened? How did Sedonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs, told them where our base was. He drew me out with a false job, then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They tried to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them dead. Because of him. And what about Sidonis himself? What are you planning to do when you find him? You humans have a saying. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. I don't need you to agree with me, but I'd like your help. And my friend Garrus, you are our best friend. There is no way I'm going to deny you your vengeance. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. And it looks like we're going to the Citadel. So let's go ahead and head there. I mean, that's all we can do. We got the mission for him. We got his loyalty mission. He wants vengeance on Sedonis. He's going to use this guy named Fade to to uh, potentially be able to find where Sedonis might have gone into hiding after everything that Sedonis did to him on Omega did to remember. Garrus had to contact those people's family, the people that fought with him. He had to contact their family and let him know, let them know they were all dead uh, because of would like to speak with because you, of Robert. his trust in Sedonis and their trust in Sedonis. So we're gonna head out of Omega and to the Citadel. And of course, we're gonna land here, select a squad, which of course is going to contain Garrus because, uh, well, it's Garrus, it's his loyalty mission. And, uh, well, 
we're going to talk about who else we're going to bring. Obviously, we're going to bring Garrus. Also, I want to point out that Samara has a new outfit now, and the black one looks so good. Uh, so we're going to equip her with that. Garrus does have other outfits as well. However, I just, I think he needs to, uh, he needs to do this in his armor that was kind of caused by Sidonis. So we're going to choose him. And another wonderful squad mate, I would say, for this party is Thane. Thane is really, really good for this squad. However, we're going to go with Tally, and the reason we're going with Tally is because we're the three OGs. We're the three amigos. We're all friends, uh, and I just think that Garrus would, would as much as Garrus respects Commander Shepard, uh, Garrus also respects Tally and has fought by Tally's side for, for, two, for two games now. Uh, anybody with concussive shot or overload is going to be super useful, by the way, for this mission, and I can't wait to show you why. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to choose Tally confirm our squad we have some points that we can put in we're not going to worry too much about that uh and instead we're going to make sure that we have the arc projector you could bring the cane that would be super useful but i'm going to show you some other ways to deal with some pretty tough enemies and we'll go ahead and make sure that everybody else is set up the way they need to be set up and just like that we're done let's land on the citadel And that's exactly what we're going to do. We need to go find this Fade. Fade, huh? I've never heard of anybody on the Citadel named Fade. I wonder if we might know them by another name. Also, I want to point out that there is some dialogue that we can find with Garrus and Tally. But before we do that, let's go ahead and talk to Captain Bailey. Yes? I'm trying to find a local forger. He goes by the name of Fade. Yeah, I know him. The alias, anyway. He's been a thorn in the network division side for the last year. He works with the Blue Suns. Where can we find him? <laughs> if I knew that, he'd be in a cell. Best I can do is put you on the trail. There's a warehouse in the marketplace. Some of Fade's contacts work out of there. Go ask them some questions. Gently, of course. Why haven't you been able to catch him? Whoever he is, he's damn good at avoiding CSEC. I think someone on the inside's feeding him information. Either that, or he's got access to our databases and comm channels. I don't know which is worse. But you're outside, CSEC. Maybe you can nail his ass. Sounds good to me. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. So apparently this Fade, it might be an alias, and it's someone that might have control, uh, access to their systems. Anyways, there is nothing my friends, that we can actually purchase on the Citadel. We have bought everything, but I want to go ahead and walk around a little bit, trying to find this warehouse and keeping an ear out for Tally and Garrus because there is a story, uh, a little a little dialogue that they'll have that is just amazing. You ever miss those talks we had on the elevator? No. Come on, remember how we'd all ask you about life on the flotilla? It was an opportunity to share. This conversation is over. Tell me again about your immune system. I have a shotgun. Maybe we'll talk later. <laughs> All right. Finally got that, that little dialogue to proc. It is worth it. So let's head to level 26 and the warehouse. Just using the rapid transit, we'll arrive right outside of the shipping warehouse. So we can go in here. This looks like the place. The forger's thug should be inside. Perfect. Well, let's find out. Before, before we do that, we can actually come out over on this side. And if you remember, in the last mission, we got a quest to get uh, uh, packages and these deliveries for Ish. And this is where we can find the first one. Anto Bechtal is a member of the criminal organization headed up by Arya Talok, often considered the pirate queen of Omega. While Arya's gang is mostly airtight, Anto has an eye toward outside work. Whether this is an exploitable hole, we're not sure. This is Arya Talok, after all. So we got one of the packages that we need for Ish. And just to prove that I have nothing to buy, there is nothing to buy from the Citadel, and it makes me so sad. Anyways, now we can go into the warehouse. Let's go ahead and do this. Go in? Yep. Wait, this was a trick, wasn't it? You sent me to the wrong place just to get And to finally, leave. we can go inside and we have a mission. Fade? You're not quite how I imagined you. <sighs> Looks can be deceiving. So, 
which one of you wants to disappear? I'd rather see you make someone reappear. Ah. Uh, that's not the service we provide. Make an exception. Just this once. Damn it! Quick! Shoot them! Shoot them, you lumbering mountains! Why don't you two find somewhere else to skulk? Just like that? You're not getting paid for this. What's the point of hiring protection if they won't protect you? We're looking for someone. A client of yours. Not mine. I'm not paid. I just work for him. Sort of. I knew it. Well, then maybe you'd like to tell us where to find him. Yes, of course. He's in the factory district. Works out of the old prefab foundry. I know the place. Oh, he's got a lot of mercs there. Blue Suns. Harkin thinks they're protecting him. Oh, we remember Harkin. How the hell did Harkin end up being the Fade? Well, he got fired from CSEC a while back. He used his knowledge of CSEC and their systems to help a few people disappear. Then he made himself disappear, and Thade was born, so to speak. Interesting. But it changes nothing. We still need to find him before we can get to Sedonis. Well, let's get going. Well, let's go pay Harkin a visit. We'll need to go to the transit station. I can get us to him from there. So I, uh... I can go? Sure, but if we don't find Harkin, we'll be back for you. Oh, good. I gotta be honest with you. This is just one of my favorite loyalty missions because, like, just the, just the, it feels like such a buddy cop movie. You know what I mean? With Shepard and Garrus, and it just, I just love it so much. I just, it, it just, it warms my heart. My cold, dead heart. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and use the rapid transit station because that's actually the only way that we can get to where we want to go, which is the factory district way back at the bottom or way down at the bottom of this list. So let's see what's in store for us here. I don't know what this guy is thinking because we are obviously just going to come in here and absolutely shrek these guys. Let's go ahead and overload his shields, charge him, and melee him to death while he's floating in the air. How dare they try to attack us like that? This mission is so unbelievably... It's like... It's like... After fighting the collectors and then coming and fighting Blue Suns, it's, it's, like, a, it's like a nice cold breeze. You know what I mean? Just feels good. Anyways, right here we can grab out of this trash can 600 credits. You'll notice throughout this mission that we'll be discovering like 600 credits, 900 credits, but it all adds up. We can also grab that med kit for 100 credits. And as soon as we come over here, this is going to open up and we're going to have to deal with some Loki mechs, which is actually fine because not only do we have the power of Tally and her drone, but we also have massive overloads that are just going to Shrek everything that need, needs to be Shreked. We're going to continue in here. There's nothing in here that we can get, but there are is going to be some new enemies here, including two Loki mechs that we can take out super quickly because we're awesome. We're going to go ahead and overload them again. And this drone is still doing work. We're going to go ahead and charge this one just to get some shields. Let that one go. What are you, what are you doing, buddy? Why don't you just go down over there? There's no need. Don't need, no need to stick around. Anyways, we're going to find more blue suns over here. We're going to just watch out because there's actually some that are going to be uh, on this area here. I want to make sure that we deal with this one first, just because it's a bit of a pain in the butt. We'll send this one over here, and we'll go ahead and charge this one just to get him out of the way as quickly as possible. 
and then we can turn around and deal with the other ones. We're also going to be dealing with some Loki mechs that are going to start coming out of this container right here. You'll notice that these blue ones is where enemies will start coming out of. We'll go ahead and charge him, get our shields back into full, and then we'll just melee him to death. I'm going to actually switch to my scimitar shotgun here because I think it's just going to be a little more fun to shotgun some people in the head. Now, unfortunately, this didn't open, and I'm very shocked. I don't know why it didn't, but it didn't. Anyways, I guess we'll continue on. And we'll find this wall safe over here that we can bypass real quick for 1,500 credits. Like I said, you're going to notice that all of these are like fairly small amounts. No 15,000 credits like the ones that we got before. I wonder why that those normally Lokis, the Loki mechs come out of there, but... For some reason, they just didn't, and I'm I'm so fine with that. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and see if we can take down... Ooh, I didn't see you over there. Let's go ahead and take this one down real quick. Get him out of there. Don't know what he's thinking he's doing, but we'll go ahead and charge this one. And we'll charge these Loki mechs. Trying to take these guys out as quickly as we can, which we'll be able to do no problem because we're awesome, and then we'll overload... Look at that. And more Loki mechs. And you'll notice that like this, this is just, it's so great because it's so easy to deal with these guys. Let's go ahead and, perfect. I love overload. Overload just feels so good. Anyways, there's going to be other things that we can bypass here for really, really small amounts of credits. Uh, and you'll notice that on this other side where we came in, there is some stuff that we can grab, including this med kit here. And we can bypass this circuit board for 900 credits. That's the one that's kind of hard to see, uh, but we'll have more opportunities to get stuff like that. So I don't think we can actually charge across the way here, which is a little unfortunate. Actually, uh, I wish we could. Oh, we can. There we go. So unfortunately, we did end up losing our beautiful tally, but it should be okay because we can just turn around and kill these guys real quick and charge. Thank you. And then we'll overload these to get them out of our way. Perfect. Unfortunately, Tally did go down there while I was looting, which is, it's not, it's so not a big deal. And then we can bypass these as well for 900 more credits each. And we're still getting shot at, so let's hope that we can get out of this. I should probably kill all the enemies before I do this, you know what I mean? But it's just, oh, Tally's, Tally's awake. Yay, Tally. And we'll finally have something worth fighting, a Legionnaire. A couple Legionnaires, in fact. So we'll go ahead, charge, get our shields back, and hopefully finish these guys no problem. Charge again. You'll actually notice that a Loki mech spawned behind, or activated behind, I should say. Charge this guy. Go ahead and pop this on him. Scimitar, so, so juicy good. Look at that. All right, they're all dead. We killed them. We'll grab this med kit real quick for 100 credits. Remember, I'm trying not to use that as much as possible. No med kits, no no heavy ammo. I'm trying to use a certain way. So we got that one. I'm going to just grab these thermal clips. I think we're full, though. And there is more that we can bypass. More circuit boards. That was an easy one. 900 credits. It all adds up. That's that's the big... That's that's the, uh, the, the thing about this mission. It all adds up, my friends. And we'll actually see that there was this bridge control. We're going to wait to do that. Open this Iridium. We have this uh, power cells that we can open for another 100 credits. And we can hack this computer laptop for 4,500 credits. Finally, an, an amount worth my time. Bingo, 4,500 credits. And now, finally, we can go ahead and use this bridge control. Garrus reminding us that we're getting close to his enemy. Well, Fade who's then going to tell us where his enemy actually is. And look at that, being set upon by some enemies, we're gonna go ahead and just absolutely shrek these guys. Concussive shot somehow missing there. We'll go ahead and charge this guy as well. Get a nice combat drone moving towards him. And you'll notice that there are more enemies coming in, like, you know, a Ymir mech. It's totally fine. We're gonna go ahead and charge this guy. We're actually not scared of a Ymir mech, to be totally honest with you. So we're going to kind of take out the enemies that are around him instead. Charge this guy. Hopefully fight him back here where the Ymir mech can't get us. Can't reach the target. Oh, charge the wrong guy. But I'm sure you can see that we're just kind of playing a little, uh, a little aggressive here. 
But hey, it works out in our favor. We're gonna go ahead and hit this Ymir mech. Get into cover here. And we can just cheese this Ymir mech to victory. You know how much I like my cheese, my friends. This guy is, I don't know where the heck that he just came from, but that's fine. Go ahead, charge again. And let's see if we can just move a little bit out of the way. Garrus was taken down, so we no longer have his overload. Watch out for the rocket. I'm guessing that the commander was taken down by Garrus, which is lucky for us. I don't know where this second Turian came from, but that's all right. I wonder if I like glitched that out by doing that. I've never actually seen him appear. So we'll just go ahead and charge again. Oh yeah, it looks like they just keep coming. We'll go ahead, destroy him, and boom, there we go. Yeah, we lost our team, but it doesn't matter. You know, it's just not a big deal. We can play as aggressive as we want. They can't. I probably should have put them into cover and protected them a little bit more, but honestly, whatever. If you win, you win. Doesn't matter whether you win by an inch or a mile. Winning's winning. Vin Diesel, 20... 1. 20... 2001. I don't remember when Fast and Furious came out, but it, that's that's where the quote is from. Anyways, in the back here, we can find some stuff. We found that med kit there for 100 credits, and in the back, we can find a circuit board that we can bypass for 1,200 credits, which you love to see. Just an easy, easy 1,200 credits that we can get. Now, that Ymir mech, I wouldn't worry too much. Like, don't use any heavy weapons or anything. that, that You just don't need it. Yes, we have the arc projector uh, that I haven't used at all in this mission yet, uh, unfortunately. But it is, it is, you know, it's fine. What so let's go ahead and go in here. We're going to wait on opening this window console until we loot this entire room. One of those is a forged ID that we can get. This is actually going to allow us to do a side quest once we've completed Thane's loyalty mission. And actually, if you do Thane's loyalty mission before you do this mission, you'll actually be able to do, to do that side quest and get both of its, uh, of its um, consequences. And some people would do that. I just don't, I would rather hold off on Thane's mission, to be honest with you. And we can open this med station for another 100 credits. And finally, we can bypass this wall safe for 2100. Absolutely juicy. So now, finally, we can go ahead and open this window console and maybe get a view of where Harkin went off to. So Harkin's finally gone completely bad. He was always a pain in the ass, but I'm in no mood for his games. If he doesn't cooperate, I'll beat him within an inch of his life. You seem to be getting tense, Garrus. Harkin may know why Sedonis wanted to disappear. If so, he knows why we're here, and I don't want him tipping Sedonis off. Did you see that? I saw something. He's getting ready for us. What are you gonna do to Harkin if he won't cooperate? He's a real criminal now, working for the Blue Suns. I should just shoot him on sight, but I need him alive, so I won't do any permanent damage. Just enough to loosen his tongue. You don't need to hurt him to get what you want. Don't worry, Harkin's a coward. He'll talk long before I can really hurt him. What do you think Harkin's got waiting for us in there? Not sure. It looks like an industrial complex, heavy machinery. Could be anything. Something's in there. Probably more blue suns. Harkin's kind of trapped himself in a corner. He must have something in store for us. Yeah, my bet is Ymir Mex. You still planning to kill Sedonis when we find him? That's the plan. It'll be quick and painless. Unlike everyone he betrayed, he'll be spared the agony of a slow death. It's more than he deserves, but as long as he's dead, I'll be satisfied. Garrus, do you really think killing Sedonis will make things right? I know you don't like it, Shepard, but I have to do this. Is there no other way? Maybe, but this is personal. I'll pull the trigger and I'll live with the consequences. All I'm asking is that you help me find him. All right. Well, there's one way to find out. Right behind you. You know, I feel bad, but we can go ahead and open here where we can find a terminal that we can go ahead and hack. And this is actually definitely worth doing because this is a sniper rifle upgrade. And it. we'll get a sniper rifle damage upgrade. That's really only going to be useful for Thane and Garrus. And then we're going to actually just run ahead. We want to go up here. 
Now, she's actually telling us some really good info, but what we want to do is we want to come and charge this uh, this commander that's up here. And it is a very, very finicky if you will actually be able to get a charge off. But we were able to get one. Now, we want to watch out because we don't want to go too far behind us. Because if we do, we're going to be dealing with uh, just, just bad news, bad news bears. Now, unfortunately, we're going to be getting hit by this guy here. Try to see if maybe we can get... Them. We're not able to tar target that guy. And it looks like the Loki mechs actually aren't going to be an issue for us either. So let's go ahead and pop this combat drone. And unfortunately, Tally's going to go down because she's getting shot by this guy. But maybe we can kill him before he kills Tally. Perfect. And then finally, we have another enemy over here, which is a Blue Suns Heavy. And we actually want to go this way. We want to be careful not to proceed further into the room here. We're going to come down. We're going to deal with this Heavy in a slow... A, a little bit slower of a way. There we go. We'll take him down. So that's one of the best ways to deal with that room. But we also went right past a data pad while we were trying to run over there. So let's go ahead and hack that for 1,200 credits. That was the easiest hack of my life. I'm so happy about that. Anyways, I also recommend making a save here because I want to show you... I mean, I guess you don't have to, but I want to show you a couple different ways that we can actually deal with this next section because it can be incredibly, incredibly difficult. So let's go ahead and get ready. We're going to come over here. We're going to save the game. And now that we saved, I want to go ahead and show you a couple different ways of dealing with this next part because this can actually be incredibly difficult. So first things first, we're going to put uh, Tally and Garrus in a cover okay. over here. Now, I've noticed that this sometimes won't work if they're dead. So I just want to make sure that they are in cover as best as they can be. Just waiting for... Come on, cockroach boy. Let's go. You got it. Yeah, taking forever to get over there, dude. All right, so we want to go ahead and start sprinting because we are going to have two heavy mechs. That's right. Two Ymir mechs are going to chase us, drop down, but we are going to ignore them completely, and we instead are going to head up here where we can take down these mechs. And as soon as these are dead, we're going to go ahead and use this door, completely bypassing the entire section that we just would have had to do and kill those Ymir mechs. Sometimes the door doesn't open and you just have to wait, uh, but it will open eventually. But there's another method we can do instead that is, if you're not a vanguard, and is honestly a little less cheesy because we're going to deal with the Ymir mechs, but we're going to deal with them in a really cool way. So let's reload that save. And instead of using that, now I've noticed that sometimes that door will bug out, by the way, and you just won't be able to access, uh, you just won't be able to access that room, and therefore it'll stop you from skipping. You'll still have to kill the Ymir mechs. If that does happen to you, uh, I would just pull out the arc projector, sit behind those boxes that are on top of that platform, and just eliminate them there. And honestly, you'll be fine doing that. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue forward, but this time, instead of skipping it, we are actually going to concussive shot, which is going to make that Ymir mech drop and die instantly. That Ymir mech is now dead. Can you believe that we just did that that easily? So we're going to charge into this Ymir mech. We're going to switch to the shotgun. Now, you could also, I mean, there's no reason why we don't. Let's just go ahead and start using the arc projector. Go ahead and charge that. And we can just keep kind of dancing around charge whenever we get low and we can keep charging and doing this and this Ymir mech will go down before too long look at how look at how easy this look at how easy that is we'll knock him down go ahead and overload him and then we still need to deal with these Loki mechs that are attacking us from this side so we'll just go ahead and do that and we'll be able to kill them no problemo Look at that. So that's how you deal with that section by actually dealing with that section. It is worth noting that there's no items over here, so you can easily do the skip. You can easily do all that. But you, you're still alive? What are you doing? Cut that out. So it is worth noting that, you know, if you have two people that have concussive shot, which is why I mentioned that earlier, you can actually take down both your Miramax without them ever even touching the ground. They'll, they'll fall and die and you win. GG. Game over. Uh, but that is the way that I prefer to do it is this. It's just by actually killing just one. I think it just feels better. But anyways, that's a neat little trick that you can do to not have to deal with two darn Ymir mechs. 
Anyways, we want to continue up here. It is time to come face to face with Fade Harkin. So, Fade, couldn't make yourself disappear, huh? Come on, Garrus. We can work this out. What do you need? I'm looking for someone. Well, I guess we both have something the other one wants. here to ask favors, Harkin. You don't say. You helped a friend of mine disappear. I need to find him. I might need a little more information than that. His name was Sedonis. Torian came from the... I know who he is, and I'm not telling you squat. Harkin, this doesn't have to be hard. Screw you. I don't give out client information. It's bad for business. <coughs> you know what else is bad for business? A broken neck. Uh, all right, all right, get off me! Uh, 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 uh. Uh, Terminus really changed you, huh, Garrett? No, but Sidonis opened my eyes. Now arrange a meeting. Your identity may be compromised. That's why I'm calling. I'm sending an agent. Where do you want to meet? All right, he'll be there. Don't worry, I got it covered. It's all good. He wants to meet you in front of Orbital Lounge, middle of the day. So, if our business is done, I'll be going. I don't think so. You're a criminal now, Harkin. So what? You're just gonna kill me? That's not your style, Garrus. Kill you? No. But I don't mind slowing you down a bit. You don't need to shoot him. He won't be able to hide from C-Sec now. I guess it's your lucky day. Yeah. I hope we can do this again real soon. <laughs> <sighs> I didn't shoot him. Come on, let's move. Sedonis better be there, or I'm coming back to finish the job. Absolutely love that section. Harkin's a bloody menace. We shouldn't have just let him go. He deserved to be punished. Getting a little worried about you, Garrus. You were pretty hard on Harkin. You don't think he deserved it? This is not like you. What do you want from me, Shepard? What would you do if someone betrayed you? I'm not sure, but I wouldn't let it change me. I would have said the same thing before it happened to me. It's not too late. You don't have to go through with this. Who's going to bring Sidonis to justice if I don't? Nobody else knows what he's done. Nobody else cares. I don't see any other options. Let me talk to him. Talk all you want, but it won't change my mind. I don't care what his reasons were. He screwed us. He deserves to die. I understand what you're going through, but do you really want to kill him? I appreciate your concern, but I'm not you. This isn't you either. Really? I've always hated injustice. The thought that Sidonis could get away with this. Why should he go on living while ten good men lie in unmarked graves? I'm sorry, Shepard. Words aren't going to solve this problem. I need to set up. I can get a clear shot from over there. What do you need me to do? Keep him talking and don't get in my way. I'll let you know when he's in my sights. Give me a signal so I know you're ready, and I'll take the shot. You better go. I'll be here soon. Shepard, can you hear me? 
loud and clear. Let's get this over with. You're in my shot. Move to the side. We have a couple different options here. We can go Renegade Turian, the Renegade Garrus, or we can keep him going towards the Paragon routes. Listen, Sidonis, I'm here to help you. Don't ever say that name aloud. I'm a friend of Garrus's. He wants you dead, but I'm hoping that's not necessary. Garrus, is this some kind of joke? Damn it, Shepard. If he moves, I'm taking the shot. You're not kidding, are you? Screw this. I'm not sticking around here to find out. Tell Garrus I had my own problems. Don't move. Get off me! I'm the only thing standing between you and a hole in the head. Fuck. Look, I didn't want to do it. I didn't have a choice. Everyone has a choice. They got to me. Said they'd kill me if I didn't help. What was I supposed to do? Let me take the shot, Shepard. He's a damn coward. That's it? You were just trying to save yourself? I know what I did. I know they died because of me. I have to live with that. I wake up every night, sick and sweating. Each of their faces staring at me, accusing me. I'm already a dead man. I don't sleep. Food has no taste. Some days, I just want it to be over. Just give me the chance. You gotta let it go, Garrus. He's already paying for his crime. He hasn't paid enough. He still has his life. Look at him, Garrus. He's not alive. There's nothing left to kill. My men, they deserved better. Tell Garrus... I guess there's nothing I can say to make it right. Just... go. Tell him to go. He's giving you a second chance, Sidonis. Don't waste it. I'll try, Garrus. I'll make it up to you somehow. Thank you for talking to him. I know you want to talk about this, but I don't. Not yet. I know it didn't go the way you planned, but I think it's for the best. I'm not so sure. Give it time. Yeah. Maybe that'll be enough. I want to know I did the right thing, not just for me. For my men. They deserve to be avenged. But when Sidonis was in my sights, I just couldn't do it. The lines between good and evil blur when we're looking at people we know. Yeah, there was still good in him. I could see it. So much easier to see the world in black and white. Gray. I don't know what to do with Gray. You gotta go with your instincts. My instincts are what got me into this mess. Don't be too hard on yourself. Thanks, Shepard. For everything. Let's get going. I need some distance from this place. I'm with you. And my friends, with that, our most loyal squad member is now officially loyal. According to the game. Anyways, we will level up. We are now level 23. That's crazy. Garrus's traitor has been found and dealt with, leaving Garrus clear-headed for mission. Operatives in CSEC will ensure no criminal charges are filed. So it looks like Cerberus is in CSEC. Uh-oh. May be able to co-opt Tarkin's criminal network, sending agents to investigate. We get armor-piercing ammo, which is actually quite good for Garrus. We get a new outfit for him. We get the sniper rifle damage upgrade that we got. And we get 28,800 credits, which is a super weird amount, but that's the most we can get in that mission and 2000 iridium and of course the trophy for having a loyal squad mate but however there are a few things that i actually want to show you from that mission that we didn't get to see in this time so let's go ahead and let's check that out so something that i discovered about this section is that if we proceed when there's no enemies we can actually potentially concussive shot as long as it's like about right there we can actually concussive shot this yumir mech as well and that one will completely be out of the fight in this little section with when it's just the one and then you don't have to worry about it and you're all good i don't mind slowing you down but... 
Maybe give Cece the blood trail to follow. Bastard! If you're lucky, I wouldn't have shot you in the leg. What'd I ever do to you? I was told Harkin was one of the best. This better not happen again. Oh, it won't. Don't worry. What? Shit. Betrayal repaid Sidonis. After Garrus's loyalty mission, we'll find ourselves back near the Zakara ward, back on the Citadel. We don't go back automatically to the Normandy, which is pretty cool, uh, but there's nothing else that we can do. We did pick up, like I said, that side quest uh, found forged ID. We can't do anything with that just yet until Thane's loyalty mission is complete, which also is on the Citadel, but we're going to go ahead and use the rapid trans transit, and we're going back to the Normandy, baby, because we want to check in with our boy Garrus and see if what, what he's feeling after not getting his vengeance on Sedonis. It's also worth mentioning the dialogue that I showed you with Harkin and uh, Fem Shep saying, oh, that I wouldn't have shot you in the leg. Uh, that is actually Commander, you received a new message at your a, that is actually a unique dialogue for Fem Shep. Mail Shep doesn't say that. So I think that's just super cool to show. Anyways, we did get a on-read message from Diana, the mother of Neff that we uh, found out Morinth killed her daughter in the previous episode. Uh, basically, she heard that Morinth was dead and she wants to thank us. Arya Talok apparently let her know. Arya Talok is a big softie, I'm telling you. What a wonderful character. Read her comics. Anyways, let's go check in with Garrus and see what he has to say. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedonis. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. You actually think we'll find something worse than Collectors or Reapers? I like to expect the worst. There's a small chance I'll be pleasantly surprised. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. It's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about trekking Saren to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind optimism. Now, we can investigate a little bit further and actually ask about Turian preparations. However, I highly recommend not doing that unless you want a romance with Garrus or potentially just hold off a little bit on doing this. This option will stay here forever. We will always be able to come back and talk to Garrus and do the the ask him about this and do the deed with the with the cockroach man, uh, which I plan on doing. But I want to be able to reload that save quickly, so we're gonna wait just a little bit. So let's go ahead and ask about the other things that we can ask about: estimation of chances and Garrus and CSEC. Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Honestly. The Collectors killed you once, and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But, an unmapped area, advanced technology, and the Collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. Not a happy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around. And I'm with you regardless. Do you ever regret leaving CSEC or the Turian military? Not for a minute. When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. When a good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite. Not when the galaxy is at stake. Hmm. And, like I said, we're going to skip that option for now. Thanks for the talk, Garrus. I'll see you later. Which is sure too thing. bad, because it's literally one of the best dialogues in the entire thing. Uh, I'll just say Cockroach Man says something that, like, gets me hot and bothered. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, that will do it for today's episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition on Insanity Difficulty. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, uh, and I hope you enjoyed the extra little bit that we were able, I went back and, and redid the mission a couple times actually to get all the dialogue, make sure we didn't miss anything, and we didn't because we're awesome. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres. Sincerely appreciate you. An even bigger shout out to those of you supporting the channel on patreon.com slash missile online. You're beautiful, and I love you. Thank you guys so much for watching. The next episode 
is going to be, well, you'll see. Never give up, never surrender to vengeance, Batman style. Bye, everyone.